this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Radiant Historia! Let's go take on the Super Boss Gauntlet. Let's get out of here. Let's finish one more side quest to that. Well, technically three, but it's all in one deal. But to do that, we want to make some very special preparations. We need to head back to the Gafka and the Scrolls. No, there, because there's an item that I did not know you could buy until like the second or third time I played the game. The Sky Drops. Hmm, apparently you can't buy more than one at once. Well, okay. We want to get nine of those. What they do, as you can see, they give you resistance to all status ailments. I don't know what plus two means. Plus two what? I don't know. But if you equip three of them on everyone, you'll be not immune, but you'll be pretty darn close to immune to all status ailments. So it's really good. So that, it's kind of like Polaris in a way. So I really like that. So we got that, rested up at the end. We're all set and ready to go. So now we got that uh, soul pact for stock there. Oh, you know, I could have done this a while ago with Ott too. Well, we got two people's uh, scrolls to turn in. So let's do stock first. Finish off his side quest. And we learn Wraithblade, which I don't believe I ever learned, use. What does that do, anyway? I don't know. I never use it. You get it so late in the game, it's like, what, am I going to change my entire tactics just for that one ability? Too bad we don't learn Ice Star Trap earlier, either, because we got that pack for Ott. Oh, well. Not many enemies that are movable have elemental weaknesses anymore. Oh, well. Aw, oh, how sweet. Your dreams will come true, locking stock away in your own private pocket dimension. All right, we've learned, we've completed all, once you complete all the side quests for stock, uh, and Aruka here, you get one more side quest from Vainquer. Hey, hey, sounds like a plan. He's just a goblin. How hard could he possibly be? Life or death for me, but not for you. That's totally fair. Absolutely. That's how the world works. Sure, why not? You may not gain anything for it, but fight to the death anyway. Why not? Absolutely. The final trial. The final side quest in the game. Oh, you know what? Uh, <laughs> I better rearrange my party first. Now... There's two ways you can go about this. You can either use At or Aruka. That's pretty much the way you have to go. Rainy is total junk for this for this side quest here. So we want to get Sky Drops all... Huh? Didn't I? Oh, there it is. I was like, didn't I equip three of them? There we go. But yeah, we want Sky Drops all around. Party I'm going to be using, as you saw, Stack, Aruka, and Marco. I think that's the way to go. But if you have Ott, you may not need the Sky Drops, because you could use Polaris instead. But, well, it's just a matter of personal preference, I suppose. Pretty much you need Aruka, uh, Ott or Marco, you could go either way, but I like using Marco for a little more versatility. How big could he possibly be? For boss time! Oh no, another spider! Okay, so first things first. Okay, we got a little lucky there. Let's uh, use the change command. String together six consecutive turns. And we've pretty much got this one one. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, first things first, we want to get magic rise on everyone. And then... You know what? Let's switch with stack there. Let's use G-Fire. What is this guy called anyway? Well, I'll just tell you since I'm going through it too quickly here. Uh, it's Master's House! That's the boss's name somehow. But yeah, a couple G-Fires, good Spin Slash, a couple G-Frosts, that'll take care of this guy pretty easily. Or, I hope that'll deal enough damage. Ah, there we go. Yeah, you see how much just adding a few more points on that combo meter really helps out? Yeah, not bad, not bad. Still haven't gotten into the four-digit range yet there, Ruka, but, well, we'll get combos high enough soon enough, viewers, soon enough. That was just part one. And, yeah, I made that look a lot easier than it actually is. Part 2 is not so hot, or not so easy. Nuts. 
Oh, okay, I can take on two of you. There's three of us. What's going on? Oh, okay, three on three. Okay, that sounds like a fair fight. What the? Four of you? I'm totally not prepared for four of these guys. Unfortunately, we do not have Gafka for Wind God Strike. For boss time! We gotta take on four of these guys. Uh-oh, he's going first. Oh, crap. This could be really, really, really bad. Ow! Well, you've seen all the abilities that they can do. Okay, I got really lucky to survive that. He only hit me once there. First things first. Absolutely. Absolutely. Get three divine lights on everyone from Aruka. You need that, no matter what your level is. Basically, what divine light does is it voids the next two attacks on you, no matter what, how much damage it deals to you. So it's, you need that in order to survive this boss fight. So really, it's not so much dependent on your levels, you just need to have the right abilities and the right setup, because he's not really going to be damaging you much for the remainder of the battle, really. So, now the trick to this boss fight is making sure he never damages you with the, because you'll have Divine Light. Now, since you got essentially two shields per Divine Light, what you want to do is, as long as Stack at least has one shield left, he's fine. Same thing with Marco, because they have a lot of HP. Uh, for Aruka, though, if she only has one shield left, re-establish Divine Light. Now, to defeat the boss, there's two ways of doing that. You can either use Ott's Traps and kill them one or two at a time, or you can hit them all at once. There's a couple abilities that we got that can do that, like Sock's Will-O-Wisp. Ah, nuts. Uh, you could also use Aruka's Burst Light. That would work, too. Hey, hey, all right. You woke me up. Thanks. Wow, that would have... This is still going to really suck. My Divine Shields are gone, but I don't have another turn from Aruka. I knew I should have used another one of those trans turns instead of the change command. Well, okay, I'll just do the best I can, then. Let's see. Yeah, let's just heal up there, just in case they break through Marco's shield there. I think he still has a hit left. I forget. That's really the tricky part, is remembering who still has Divine Shield and how many hits they got left on it. Oh, that could have really hurt. Come on, I can make it! Okay, okay, I think we're in the clear. Woo! We got lucky on that one. <coughs> Let's see, let's reestablish the Divine Shield real fast there. There we go. Always keep Aruka's Divine Shield at max every time. Okay, I think we should be good then. Let's see, is... Yeah, yeah, we should be good. Let's just reestablish another one of those. I was thinking maybe... See, the thing with Divine Shield is having that on. You can't tell whether your Divine Shield is still up or your Magic Rise is still up. I was thinking about casting Magic Rise again. Because you see on the character portrait there, you see the up arrow on their character portrait. That means you got a buff active. But you can't tell which one is which like that. Ah, nuts. Well, oh, there we go. It doesn't exactly do you good to put me to sleep if you're going to hit me right after that. But anyway, yeah, let's just go all out. I think all our... Most of our, well, most of our shields are doing pretty good. Eh, let's just reestablish that, just to be on the safe side. Stay on the safe side! Wow, we're, do we're actually doing pretty good here. Don't forget that if your characters die, uh, Stock has the resurrection spell, but Aruka has that one that revives everyone at full HP. So just something to keep in mind. I oftentimes forget about that myself, because I hardly ever use it. But, well, there you go. Yeah, it's a good thing they don't give you Gafka for this fight, because this would just be obscene with Gafka. It's just Wind God Strike, Trap, Wind God Strike, Ba-Boom! Trap, Wind God Strike, Ba-Boom! And just do that over and over again, but since we don't have him, now I'm going to have to rely on my magic. Yeah, we need to use Magic Rise again. Oh, well. And there's no way physical attacks are going to do anything in this fight, because they just keep on using power down on you over and over and over again. So, 
but yeah, it would be a good idea to reestablish one more of those Divine Shields. Gosh, I hope I have enough MP to last through this battle. I forget, I don't have any of those elixirs, or whatever they call them. I don't know. Magic Rise is pretty good, because eventually I'm going to want Maruka to get in on the action there, if they stop attacking me. Ow! Well, I got a couple more. Yeah, those Sky Drops are doing pretty good there. Nuts! I need to reestablish a couple of those Divine Shields, or Divine Light. Um... You know what, let's reestablish it on stack there first. Because if Aruka gets hit again, then it won't then I'll have to reestablish it again on her anyway. With only one attack to worry about, so. Yeah, I prefer to use trans turn whenever I can, so I don't get stuck like I did earlier in the battle without having a potential Aruka target. Or a trans turn or whatever. Okay, we're doing pretty good. I personally like hitting all enemies at once to win this battle, as opposed to using Ox Traps. Marco just gives so much versati more versatility with Tran. He has Trans Turn. You got some healing from him if you really need that. Some status removal, things like that. So it's, it's pretty hard to beat Marco there. But then again, I'm playing it very, very conservatively. So yeah, we got to reestablish Divine Shield on everything now. Holy cow! Good thing Aruka has all that MP. I can't imagine trying to use Rainy in this battle. Holy cow, she would suck hard. I mean, she has no defensive abilities, no healing abilities. Her offense sucks. What would you use her for? Nuts. Well, we're not... Ah, oh, man, I don't have access to another one of her turns. Well, I might as well just try going all out. Got nothing better to do. Triple Will-O-Wisp! One black mana to regenerate. Now, now, that's another game. Woo, we almost got him. I may not even need to reestablish Divine Shield. As long as they don't put me to sleep! But, well, maybe they'll hit Marco and it'll all work out. No? No, apparently not. Oh, well. Oh, crap! I just realized, uh... Stack, he's... He's almost out of MP. Nuts! Um... Yeah, I can't do anything there. Well, I could try... Yeah, let's reestablish one more shield, I think. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. I was thinking of using Burst Light, but no, I don't want to risk it just yet. We're al we almost got him. I don't want to lose my last ten minutes of effort. Well, at least if you lose the battle, you don't have to go through two hours of a boss fight all over again. Uh, not that I'm speaking from experience. I'm just saying, if that were to happen, that would that would really suck. Not right now, Lenny. I'm recording. Uh, he wants attention. He's an attention whore. Or just a whore in general. But, anyway. Yeah, let's go triple burst slide! Yeah! Yeah! Got him! Or maybe not! Not! Well, I don't think I'll need to reestablish Divine Shield. Yeah, a couple more of those ought to do. Or a couple more burst slides ought to do. Need a trans turn there. There we go. Yeah, you chase him out of here, Stripe. Good girl. All right, got him. Now, I made that look a lot easier than it actually is, viewers. I mean, usually you'll have characters dying left and right throughout the battle. Get him out of here, Stripe. I mean, it, my survival in that battle was more so due to luck, because I didn't get hit as much as I might usually. But, yeah, it's, it, it is really, really hard. Sure, why not? Oh, okay. 
Sure, why not? I'll give you the holy sword. That's the key to saving the world. Why not? Hey, hey, no. Bad kitty. There is no food in the garbage can. Uh, those cats got a bug up their butt somewhere. But anyway, for completing this side quest, we get the true Historica, which is still not that great on the magic side. So I'm, I'm going to stick with the Mithril Edge, or Blade, whatever it was called. The sword that I have equipped now on stock for the magic boost, yeah. But the true Historica is more powerful. As far as, like, than the ordinary Historica. But anyway, let's just see here. Yes! I've completed all the side quests. If you've done all the side quests up to now, and you haven't done all the... Fought all those Black Guardians there, you should have completed 217 nodes. Everything else in the game will be automatic through the boss fights and the end of the game there. Mostly from the ending there, too. So, there we go. Well, all right, we've survived one boss gauntlet, but can we survive an even bigger boss gauntlet? Find out next time on Let's Play Radiant Historia! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!